How hard is the CMA exam? It's not as easy as one, two, three. To pass, you will have to be very dedicated and work hard. You cannot coast. However, there are some tips to make it easier to pass. That's what this video is all about. And watch until the end to discover how to get your hands on my free CMA exam cheat sheet to guarantee your exam success. And check in for new videos every Monday where I will give you the inside scoop on how to become a CMA fast. All you have to do is subscribe to the show, hit the button, and you'll be notified when a new video goes up every Monday. Hey there, I'm Nathan from cmaexamacademy.com where we help candidates like you pass the CMA exam the first time. All right, real talk time. The CMA exam is hard. The CMA part one has an average pass rate of 40% and part two has a pass rate of 50%. So that means that only half of the people make it, but that does not have to be you. I've had students sign up to my program because they failed the exam and realized that they were not remotely close to being prepared for it. There are two big mistakes people make and I know what they are and the good news is that today I'm gonna show you so that you can avoid making them. So let's start with basic mistakes people make. First, you may think that because you have an accounting degree or a finance degree or maybe you have a lot of work experience that you know a lot and you do. But for the CMA exam, you're going to need to know significantly more than you know today. So that's the first mistake people make. They do not take the test seriously. Second big mistake. I watch people underperform because they develop the wrong skills for the exam. You need more than rote memorization. The CMA exam hits you from different angles, but I will get to the specific skills that you need in a minute. The CMA exam has two major parts. You are going to have to get familiar with the structure of how things are worded in order to answer uh, the questions effectively. Once you wrap your head around that, then you will have to dive into the complex world of essay scenarios. This will require in-depth knowledge and the ability to write well. The CMA exam awards two extra points for candidates who write English very well, so it is in your benefit to practice this skill. The great news is that all of this can be practiced and improved. Lastly, you will have to master the rhythm and pacing. With a set amount of time, you're going to have to make sure that you answer all questions without going too slow in your exam. So now tell me, how long do you plan to study for your exam? Whether you're taking part one or part two, how long do you plan to study? Drop it in the comments below. Let me know so that way, as your CMA coach, I can guide you and provide you feedback just to make sure that you have set the right amount of time for yourself to ace this exam. All right, so let's get back to the specific skills you need to conquer the CMA exam. The exam is set up to test different abilities, all of which reflect how you can apply knowledge. This is why you cannot expect to just memorize facts and definitions and expect to pass. You are going to need to get better at comprehension, application, analysis, synthesis, and evaluation. Essentially, these skills relate to how you use concepts to solve real world problems. Multiple scenarios will be presented to you on your exam, which means that you will have to use memorized facts, processes, and accounting standards to answer these very complex questions. I'm not gonna lie, this is gonna be very hard work, but remember that there's a payoff at the end. And also the good news is that you are not alone, my friend. I have helped thousands of candidates commit to the right study process to pass the CMA exam and I wanna do the same for you. There are no shortcuts, but there are best practices. And next, I wanna show you how you can score the most points to pass your CMA exam. But before I do, I would like to send you a copy of my free CMA exam cheat sheet to guarantee your exam success 
All you have to do is click on the link in the description box below to get it. It's absolutely free. It will be delivered straight to your email. So which part of the CMA exam do you fear the most? The MCQ section or the essay section? Let me know in the comments below which section and why. And as your CMA coach, I'm going to help you crush those fears so that you can move forward and pass your CMA exam. Ready to dive deep? Now let's talk about how you can score the most points in order to pass your exam. All you have to do is click on this video right here and I will see you there. Thanks for watching.